Hey friends, welcome aboard. It is your friend um, Lisa Mason Ziegler here on our Friday Shopping Show. And today is just really going to be a fun day because I don't know about you, I have done like zero Christmas shopping, which is normal for me. I go out and do it all in one sweep. Um, but you can do that in the show today um, because that's what we're all about today is gift giving. And um, anyway, so we're having a great show and I just welcome everybody. So what are we gonna do today? We're gonna do soil block and I'm gonna be demonstrating the three quarter inch and the two inch blocker. And I have some gorgeous seedlings to show you. We have last minute holiday gifts and stocking stuffers. Um, and this is kind of the last, you're, you're, we're down to the last wire of when we can actually ship stuff and hope that it gets to you in time for Christmas. So this is your time. Um, and so we still have a few grab bags um, left and friends, what a deal they are. Um, and so be sure to check those out. I have some beautiful dried flowers to show you. We have cool ones and a few warm, plus my favorite little gourd, y'all, and I can't wait to show y'all that. Um, you know, we always do a live giveaway in app for viewers who are watching live and remember y'all if you have any questions at the end um, i'll do my best to answer those and throughout um, the show you can actually put it in the comments and just start it off with the at and lisa and the girls will pick those out and then i will do my very best um, to answer as many of those as we can so remember if you're watching in the app which if you if you aren't then you um, know that you can go that you can, <laughs> we had an echo in here, y'all. Um, if you're watching in the app, you know it has a share button down at the bottom. We'd love for you to let your friends know that we're live and that you're over here watching. Um, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. And remember, friends, I'm super excited to say that my new book, The Cut Flower Handbook, um, is now available for pre-order. Cannot wait for y'all to have this in your hands. It's a hardback, eight and a half by 10, 240 pages, um, and you can pre-order it. And we have some exclusive pre-order bonus. Um, that is the Cool Flower Zone Guide. You get that immediately when you pre-order. And you have to head over to our website to get those. It's not available here in the app, and it's right at the top of every page in a yellow banner, and you can actually get that. And then I also wanted to invite everyone. Um, we know that there's already people coming further than we ever expected to our Gratitude Open Warehouse tomorrow, and that would be December 9th. 2023. Um, we're located in Newport News, Virginia. The farm is not open, but our brand new fulfillment center is. Um, and we just hope that you'll join us there. You know, no pets are allowed. We say that because I know people like to travel with their pets, but we aren't allowed to allow pets. Um, it's free. We're going to have refreshments. I'm going to be giving away stuff. Y'all know I love to give away stuff. Um, we'll have an area where you can sit and chat um, with me and the other crew members, and you can actually try out soil blocking. Um, all of them. I'll be doing book signings. We have a photo booth. We'll have a sale going on, um, and you can even meet Lane from Seed Talk. She's on the crew, too, and she'll be there. Um, so... We, you can um, get the details on our warehouse, um, on the where, open warehouse, um, on any of our social media. You can just type in warehouse and we'll DM you all the details. Um, so, the deal of the day, y'all, is a big old deal because what we've done is we are extending to all of our customers the special that we were gonna have just tomorrow for our Gratitude Open House. Because as we realize talking that we want everybody to have access to that. So, but you have to use the coupon, y'all. It does not automatically come off. So we're given 20% off of merchandise that does not include books, courses, gift certificates or previous purchases, right? Um, the coupon code is 20OFF, 20 off. Um, you just enter that at checkout, either here in the app or over on our website, y'all. That means, that means you have another opportunity to stock up and get ready for the season as we're gonna hit the ground running in January, and so. And that's 20 off with no space in between. Yep, thank you, sister. Two, zero, the numbers, 
2-0-O-F-F. Um, and I'm sure Jesse's probably putting that in the comments. So, um, so we've got, so this is a great opportunity, y'all, to finish up your shopping um, and to get ready for the season. A little bit of housekeeping. Please be sure on your account information here in the app that there's no typos. We'd be sure your email address and your phone number are correct in case we need to get a hold of you for a shipping issue or a question about your shipment. Um, and remember, here in the app, seed only orders ship for free. That is only here in the app, not on the website. Also here in the app, product shipping, because we do sell products also here, is capped at $9.95. That means you can buy multiple items and it's still $9.95. We do ship to all 50 of the United States. And if you are watching us from social media, welcome. We are so glad you're here. But what you need to know is that we have a phone app. It is totally free. Um, you can head over to your phone's app store and search Gardner's Workshop, download it, and jump back over here. There's just got a lot more features in there, like there's a favorites list that you can build. When a product comes up, you can hit um, the little star at the top, and that'll put it on your list, and you'll find your list on that bottom bar where it says favorites, and that's where that's all kept. You can also come into the app anytime and watch replays, and a really great hack, particularly if you wanna see what flowers look like, is to actually, uh, when you bring a video up and that little shop all bar comes up at the bottom, hit that, and it brings up a ribbon of every product and every flower that I talked about. You can scroll through and actually hit a flower and it jumps the video to where that is. Um, so that's a really great hack to be able to look through maybe in season and look at some flowers. So check that out. Um, and when you're in the app, there's like a lively conversation that's going on between viewers and us. And um, it's just really a lot of fun. So there's a lot of good reasons to get the app. Um, also, if we sell out of a product, which we do frequently, um, when you go to purchase it, it may say sold out, get on the wait list. You might want to get on that wait list because they may be moving stock over from our website. And all that means is that you'll get a little notification when that actually happens, especially during the sale time when you might want to actually, if you understand, if you learn that that's back in stock, you can actually take advantage of, this, um, of the sale. So friends, if you're seeing people post the sunflower emoji, those are people identifying themselves as our TGW family, and we absolutely love it. Those are our students um, of our online courses. So thank you, and that just, we love seeing that. So friends, we always do a giveaway, right? And this week, we are giving away something that each and every person needs, and they need new ones all the time, every year, and that is, friends, our gloves. We are, I'm gonna give away a four pack of these today. And I just wanna say, a four pack is normally $24.95. With the 20% off coupon code that I gave you, 20 off, these are $19.95. You have four amazing gifts for $5 each. I mean, get out of town, right? I mean, that is so awesome. So I'm gonna be giving away a four pack. To enter, hit the buy button that Susie has brought up, but you're not buying anything. That's just putting you on the wait list. Get on the wait list. And you can choose either the Tough Atlas Gloves or the Touch Atlas Gloves. Um, they are just, we live in these gloves, y'all. And they're great gifts, and you should have a four-pack for yourself as well. All right, so remember, again, I'm going to say it all throughout the show, to get 20% off, you have to enter the coupon code 20, no space, O-F-F, -F, and that all happens at checkout, okay? Um, so give yourself a jump start into the next season. We have got um, a lot of great gifts ideas, gift ideas, um, as well as stuff for you too, right? All the books that we ship, are sign I sign them all. And if you want a personalized message, you can just put it in the comments and in the notes. Um, and I'll be happy to do that. We also have, um, you can get the Cool Flower book and a Cool Flower seed collection. You can get the Vegetables Love Flowers book and a Warm Season seed collection. Um, and friends, oh, do you have a, oh. We have a gift bag, y'all, sorry didn't realize. So we have this great gift bag and 
here, Susie has included, already, huh? Which is not included. <laughs> right, the gift bag is not included, y'all. This came from my gift stack inside. So you can get a cool flower book and the cool flower seed collection, which plant includes a planting diagram um, and some additional instructions inside as the book. And so that's normally $40.95. Let's just say $41. So that's not 20% off, right? Right, y'all? These are not the 20% off. So $8 off that price. What a deal, y'all. And then, of course, we also have my book, Vegetables Love Flowers, and the seed collection, which has the additional information inside. So this is normally, I mean, $44. So that's eight, $9 off, y'all. 35 bucks. What a great, this could jumpstart somebody into gardening, y'all. It really tells them the how and why of how to grow flowers and why flowers benefit vegetables. Um, but it's really about a three season cutting garden. So those are awesome. So, all right, now we are, here is, so I'm gonna show you this set that we've made up. And the set is our TGW tote bag. And inside this bag is a TGW t-shirt. And this t-shirt, y'all, has our flower farmer feet and legs, which is super cute, and it says flower farmer crew on it. And then it has our logo on the front. You get this t-shirt, and we have all sizes, this t-shirt and the tote bag is $39.99 minus 20%, which is basically eight bucks. And everything I'm getting ready to show you would be a great gift to put inside. You could use this as your gift bag. Um, so that is really a great deal. And so we're gonna come back to what I'm giving away today. Um, so the four packs um, of these gloves are the bargain of a lifetime. These are literally the gloves that we wear on this farm all the time. We sow seeds in them. Um, we do everything in them. I have never come through the end of a pair. These are the, um, and Suzanne has them here. They're great stocking stuffers. Um, and everybody, even though we have a bat, anybody that's come to the open farms sees the stacks of these in the bathroom that we pull from. They don't ever wear out. You, but it is nice to have a new pair so that they're real grippy. Um, and so the four, so individually they're $7.95. A four pack is $24.95 minus 20%, y'all. Um, they come from extra small up to large, assorted colors, and we, I mean, we live in them. We, and they're machine washable, we hang them to dry. Then we also have them in the tough version. This is a little bit more heavy duty glove. A lot of brick masons wear these, um, and these come from small up to extra large. So this is another, I mean, again, they on sale, they're like five bucks a pair in the four pack. You cannot go wrong with those, y'all. All right, and so this other, I mean, this is really when you're with sale while we still have stock is really the opportunity to get your stuff, not only for gifts, but for yourself. Y'all, these are the Rose Gauntlet Gloves. And I use these for blackberry brambles where there's poison ivy, when I'm pruning shrubs where they're very pokey. These come from a small to extra large. It's a synthetic leather, which means you can wash them, which means you can wash the poison ivy sap off of them. They're normally $37.95, so 20% off of that, which is like seven bucks off. So these are like $29.90 on sale. And here we have our favorite tool belt. This tool belt comes with a long belt that adjusts to fit around your waist so you don't have to wear a leather belt that uh, gets really hot. And this has pockets for your cell phone, your clippers, a bottle of water. And we usually turn this around and wear it around the back so it doesn't interfere with us bending over. So we love this tool belt. It is a great gift for anybody that spends time outside working in the yard or in the garden. And it's $22.95 and don't forget to use the special code um, for your 20% off. And when does that code expire? Sunday at 8 a.m. So that's good until yeah. this. Midnight. I mean, midnight, you're right. This Sunday midnight. at midnight. You're so right. you have a little extra shopping time. Um, normally we stop at 8 o'clock in the morning with show specials, but you have until midnight Sunday. Don't forget to use your code. All right. And then we have our shear and pouch kit. <clears throat> this is a, one of our favorites. We all wear them on the farm. This attaches to your pocket on your pants, so you don't have to wear a belt with this one either. 
and this shear will hold just about anything, uh, any type of shear. But it, in this kit, is holding our favorite shear, which is the Bonsai shears. Very sharp. It has this spring right here that makes it very easy to use. It's easy on your hand, and it will cut a big sunflower, also cuts some of the smaller woodies, and we use it for just practically everything on our farm. Some things we shouldn't be using it for. Uh, but we love the shear and pouch kit. It's $60.90. It's also available separately. You can get one or the other in the app and, of course, 20% off. So this is a great gift, one or both. Um, everybody loves these shears, especially us. And I see Kelly has brought my basket. So this would be something you could put in your basket, uh, depending on who you're having over. Um, Japanese hand hose. These are the hose that we use to keep the weeds under control here on the farm. It comes in a left-handed model, which is very unusual for any of you folks that have left-handed family or friends. They would really love the left-handed. Here's the right-handed. It's very sharp. You place it flat on the soil and go down about an inch and a half or an inch under the soil and you cut it like you're cutting butter with a warm knife right straight through the middle so you keep it flat that cuts all the seedlings out without disturbing a lot of soil because every time you disturb soil guess what you're doing you're bringing up more weed seeds which of course cause more weeds so you want to use this flat not disturbing much soil and then after you do this Every week or so for a few weeks, you'll have less and less weeds because all of the seeds in that top little bit of soil would have germinated and will be out of your way. So we love this as one of our favorite gifts that people would buy at the shopping shows. And again, it comes in a left-handed or a right-handed, or you could actually have one in each hand. All right, the Japanese hand hoe is $24.95. And of course, what a great deal with the 20% off. Tell them about the basket. We haven't told this show about the what your basket is. Oh, so my basket is what I do when I have family and friends come over for Christmas, and you just pass it around and let them pick out what they want out of the basket. And you can put uh, all kinds of things. We have a lot of great gifts for the basket, but the hand hose would be great. We also have our little sod knives. So these is a set. This is called the bundle of sod knives. And these little guys are like Ginsu. They are so sharp and you don't have to sharpen them. And I mean, that, that is painful when I do that. We use this to cut down in the soil to separate perennials or to get roots up. Lisa uses it to get the twine off of her tiller that she's gone through uh, in the garden. And so they're very sharp, very good for like harvesting lettuce or greens, anything like that. And the longer one here you can see is just as sharp. The little one I think is better for cutting twine because you can get a better handle on it. This is good for cutting greens and harvesting things. You can buy them together for $17.95 with 20% off, what a deal, and give them to two separate people. Or you can buy one size or the other separately on our app. So be sure to get a couple of these and just put them in your basket. You know what I wanted to mention, sister, that um, while you were showing that hand hoe, that coupon code also works over on our big website. And guess what's over there? Our stand-up garden hose. There's two of them, the razor and the garden hoe. And friends, I am here to tell you that I use them both all the time. This is a great opportunity to get one for yourself and to give one as a gift. And they're 20% off. Yep, the stand-up hoe is great. You don't have to bend over. I just had mine out the other day. I'm using it on my new flower beds that are a little messy. So next up we have Bobo's Hand Weeder. And you might recognize this as a dandelion weeder, and you can certainly use it for that. But what we like to use it for is to poke small holes in the Bio360 when we're planting seedlings. And this is just the preferred tool of Bobo, so we named it after her. It's a little sharp on the end. You just poke the little hole to plant your seedling through, and you want to keep that hole as small as possible because guess what? The bigger the hole, the more soil there's going to get sunlight, and then what's going to happen? All of those weed seeds are going to germinate. So you want to make the hole as small as possible so that it stays dark around that little seedling so no weeds accumulate there. So this is only $7.95, and with 20% off, it's going in my basket. Next up, we have the best gift for men. Men love 
love this for some reason. I love it too, but when we have it at shows, we have it on the table and every man would have to stop and take it out of its sheath to see what it looked like. This is the Hori Hori Hand Weeder and it is what I call the rock harvesting tool. Any of you that live in a rocky area, we often use things we shouldn't put in the soil to dig up rocks when they get in our way when we're gardening, but this is made for that. It also has a serrated edge so that you can separate uh, perennial roots or um, split plants. Um, but there's a lot of great uses for this and it comes with this great sheath that you can wear on a belt um, and carry it with you. The Hori Hori is $46.95 mm. and um, what a great deal with 20% off. Any man would love this and a woman too. Going in my basket. Next we have our mini dibber. The mini dibber is the cutest little thing ever and we use this also to put small holes in the Bio360 to plant seedlings. You could also use it to plant small bulbs, um, but it is just the cutest, sweetest little thing, great stocking stuffer, and it is only $7.95. Now, Mini Dibber has a big brother. Mini Dibber's going in my box, basket. Mini Dibber has a big brother. This is the big dibber, and it has the inch marks on it so that you can plant bulbs with it. But again, you could use this to plant larger transplants or to use with bulbs. It's $14.95, and again, a great stocking stuffer. Wrap a ribbon around it. All right, next up we have the waterproof garden marker. So this little garden marker looks kind of innocent, doesn't it? But it packs a punch. We used to have a lily growing program where we would write on the wooden marker what lily was in this crate. And at the end of the season, we would then have cut all the lilies off and we would dump the lilies out and take the bulbs and we would take them to the farmer's market and sell them. Well, people wanna know what color those bulbs are gonna be. And believe it or not, after a whole season outside in the weather, we could still read all of those tags that told us what variety of bulb that was, and it was because we used this marker. Sharpies, they're gone within a week or two. You can't read the, the label anymore. But this little guy packs the punch, just really, really stands up in the weather. And yeah, you need to have at least two or three of those around the farm here for us. You know, I write on masking tape for our sunflower program. We use masking tape on all of our soil block trays and it just holds up even with water and lights and yeah, so you just need to have now's the time to get them that they're 20% off. Yes, yeah, $6.95, 20% off, get multiples for you, multiples for friend and of course they're going in my basket because what a great gift that is. Next up we have another great gift, especially for men who always seem to want to know how much water there is outside or what the weather is doing. And as farmers and gardeners, we need to know that as well. But the, the weather stick is one of the best gifts. It's made of um, balsam, balsam, wood. balsam wood, left my head, made of balsam wood, the same thing that divining rods are made out of, and it reacts with the moisture in the air. So this little cute thing has a little hole right here in the top. You just simply tack it to a pole where you can see it from your house, from this direction. And when the weather is bad, I have seen it curve and actually touch the post that it's attached to. And when it's fair, it curls up. And it's just the most amazing thing and people don't think it's gonna work. And then when they get one and they see it works, they want one for all their friends. So this is a great deal. It's 10.95 with 20% off. And it comes with this cute little instruction and um, shows you how it works but it just literally takes a little nail right to a post. And um, if you're looking for a great combo gift for a man, get the weather stick and a pair of tough gloves, and it's under $20 with the, with the discount. And this is the perfect gift for any man, woman, or child. They'll love them. And these are going in my basket. All right, the tick key. So the tick key makes a really great, great stocking stuffer. So the tick key is called a key because it has a little hole that you can put it on your key ring because when you need it, you need it. So you always know where it is. But it has this great little indent here that when you have a tick on a struggling dog, child, or husband, you can simply just put this over the tick and you just pull it forward like this and it just rips them right out of the skin head and all. It's the most amazing thing. 
We hear from people at shows all the time how wonderful they are. They say their nurses have them at their kids' school. Um, so it's just very, very useful. I have two or three because I can never keep up with mine. I don't have keys anymore. But um, yeah, get one for all of your friends. And the tick key is $9.95 and of course the 20% off. And I usually get a lot of these to go in my gift basket. All right, next up. So everybody remember to get the 20% off, you have to use the promotion code at checkout, which is 2 -O -O, I'm sorry, 2-0-O-F-F, -F, no space, 20 off. And that'll take 20% off of everything in your um, cart except for single books, right? right? Right. So next up we have our drying rack. So as you know, all the flowers we grow here on the farm that we don't end up using, we hang them to dry. They're just so useful and they're beautiful when they're dried. And this is a great at home um, hanging rack that is very beautiful. And I have it here. And you just simply rubber band your flowers and it comes with these hooks, which I don't see the hooks in our, uh, we've lost the hooks for ours. But you can see it comes with all these beautiful little hooks in the same color bronze. And you just simply hook it through your rubber band flowers and hang it on here and put it up to dry. So it makes a very, very beautiful display um, for your flowers as they dry. And this and a pack of seeds would be a great gift. Let's see, the flower and herb drying rack is $26.95. And of course you would get the 20% off if you use the coupon code. So it'd be under 20 bucks. Yeah, what a deal. All right, so next up, we have the Stay Put Candle Grips. They're handy. That's... The Stay Put Candle Grips. Okay, so this is a Stay Put Candle grip, Where's which the of course stick? make a great gift. Um, yeah, pull one of those so off. Let her the show. The Candle Grips, which I just ordered some more candles for a candle holder I have, so I need to take these home with me. The Candle Grips are wonderful. They're a little foamy. Let me have one out here. They're a little foam grippy and we reuse these and keep them year to year and you simply stick it into your candle holder and you just push it into place and then it stays wherever you put it like forever <laughs> until you take it out now if you have bigger candles you just use two or three around the edges and push this in and it'll do the same thing candle grips are a great great gift $8.95 and use your 20% off, and of course they go into my basket. Um, so don't miss getting these as a gift, or better yet, like me, use them on your own home. All right, let's see. Candle vase. Candle vases. So this is the little pack of candle vases. Made in the USA. Yep, made in the USA. And we love these guys. So you just, you can get flowers for these, or I just go out in the yard and cut some little greenery or anything that's growing out in the yard and you just simply stick them through the little holes in the top and it just turns a candle into a beautiful arrangement like that. Simple, easy, perfect girlfriend garden club gift. Um, get them for yourselves and Lisa's gonna tell you the great um, candle vase story. <sighs> Well, and you know, the other thing in spring, you know, of course we're focusing on Christmas right now and evergreens, right? But in spring when the little violets are blooming, all those little tiny flowers that your your child may walk in and say, here, mommy, that is just really a great one. Um, but I, I tell this story of when we were at a show, I hear this lady giggling to herself in the corner, chuckling, and she was probably in her late 80s. And I walked over and said, what's, you know, can I help you or, you know, what's going on? She said, I have to tell you, my mother had something like this. It was made out of glass when I was a little girl. And she said, you know, we, my mother was a pretty proper kind of gal. And we would um, often invite the priest home for lunch after Sunday church. And she said on this particular week, she had used her candle vases um, and put flowers in it on the table. And when we sat down to eat with the priest there at our dinner table, 
my dad had actually pulled a prank and had put goldfish, because there's water in here, um, had put goldfish in the little vases and they were swimming around and around. And anyway, she said her mother was mortified, but the rest of the family and the priest laughed pretty hard about it. So I'll just think of that forever and always. But this is an old fashioned thing that's been remade and this is made in the USA by a woman owned company. Um, and we just love the candle vases. And the little two pack is $14.95. $3 off. You get 20% off. All right, next up we have the floral netting. So the floral netting comes in 12 inches by 48 inches, and you just cut a big piece of it, and then you crumple it all up, and then we stick it into a crock or anything that you can't see through. And then, do we have sunflowers today? Are the sunflowers No, around? they're gone. So the sunflowers are gone, but you just stick your flowers right into it, and it just holds them in place exactly how you put them and we even use it for bigger sunflowers so any size flower stem will will be held very nicely in this it's only $7.95 and what a perfect thing to have on hand for your holiday arranging also a great gift especially for garden club friends um, or other friends that love flower arranging it's $7.95 and then you get the 20 percent off it's quite a deal all right next we have the oasis tape this is clear tape like the florist use and you simply put it on top of your vase usually a clear vase but you can use it on any vase and it will also make a little grid that will hold your flowers in place so you just stick your That's let me rip these off i don't have a good selection of flowers today because we're low on flowers but you it's too short right i know it is too short all of my tall stems are gone but you simply put it in place and it just holds it where you want it. And this is um, $8.95 and of course you use the 20% off coupon and it makes a beautiful little arrangement. Let me, um, lickety split. I'll tell you the story about that too. One of the florists, one of our high volume florists that I used to deliver to, he had a gal that did nothing but sit all day. He used lots of glass cubes and that's all she did was tape the top. You know, so that's what the professionals do to hold fewer flowers in place so you can use less flowers. So that's a great tip. Okay, next up we have the mason jar lids. And let's start with the bronze one first. So this is the little mason jar lid. And it fits any standard size mason jar opening. as long opening. It can fit the larger ones as long as it has the standard size opening. You can see it's bronze and it works just like the other ones do. You simply take your flowers and they hold it right into place. Now here is one that we did. Turn around this way. This one I did, you can see it's the larger size mason jar, but that little lid is holding all of this greenery. And we had this great idea to put a few Christmas ornaments on sticks, and I think these are what, Susie? These are um, cake pop sticks or something? Um, skewers. S'more skewers. S'more skewers. And you just stick them down in there, and you have a beautiful little arrangement with your Christmas ornaments. And even if you just had greenery, you know yeah, what I mean? You don't beautiful. have to rely, it just, you can decorate it up with what you have. And we literally took some of my Christmas stuff and stuck it on sticks. Yep, so it's a cute little idea for Christmas decorating, and it all comes out of this little mason jar. Now, the one that's on this one is actually the chicken wire. I don't know if you can see, can't see it here, but it is more of a rustic metal with chicken wire in it, and um, it can hold a lot of stems. So we just love those. And they are a single pack for $8.95 and a three pack for $21.50. So of course, they're going in my gift basket. What a great gift price point. Next up we have the Easy Arranger. All right, the Easy Arranger is a great little gift. It comes with this beautiful picture and it shows you how you use it right on the back here. You simply take it out and you bend it over the top of your vase and again, it makes a great support for long stems and it just holds them right into place. And I think we're running low on those, so if you want them, That's now right. is the time to get them. We can't get any more before Christmas. And so the Easy Arranger is $8.95 and then again, you could use your coupon and get 20% off. 
All right, so next up is our vase brush. Favorite Christmas gift for garden yep. clubs. Yep. <laughs> so this vase brush is just to get all of those places you can't reach. And that would be a hummingbird feeder, a humidifier. I was cleaning out my water bottle today and it's long and slender and I'm like, I can't get my hand in there. I need to bring one of these home. It is great for those, but it'll also do your vases. And we use it on irrigation um, for the farm. We use it on the irrigation. But here it is in a vase that you can't get your hand into. So it's great to scrub all of the edges and, um, and then just rinse it off and hang it to dry. The vase brush is $12.95, perfect stocking stuffer. It's even shaped like a stocking. And don't be sure, um, don't forget to use your 20% off coupon. So $12.95 with 20% off, going in my basket. What a great gift. Velcro plant ties. Well, I did it, you all. I put my garland on my stair uh, railing, and this was perfect. Each piece was about 12 inches, and I just wrapped it around itself until it stayed snug, and I put a piece of ribbon over it, hanging off of the um, banister, and it looks beautiful, easy, not hurting my wood, and to take it off, you just simply do this, and it comes undone, and you save it and reuse it for next year. Also works with tomatoes, which is what it's made for, and other vines that you wanna control and, um, and help stay into place. So this is the plant Velcro, it's 50 feet, so you have 12, one, you know, foot section, I mean 50, 12 inch sections, and it's $7.95, and don't forget to use the coupon. And again, a bunch of these are going in my gift basket. So useful. Next All up right. we have Lisa. <laughs> hey friends, so I promised that we were gonna do some seed starting, soil blocking talk. So first off, um, I don't know if you know, but you know, I'm here in the mid-Atlantic, and we could basically can start seeds pretty much all year round. Um, and because that's because we start cool and warm season seeds, right? But we tend to take December off um, because we're just kind of like wanting to just take some time and close things down. However, this year we do have a few things going that I'm going to show you. But the minute the holidays are over, as soon as we hit like January 2nd, the first day back to work, here on the farm, we are back at seed starting. And what am I starting? First off, all the cool season hardy annuals that I want to plant again in very early spring. Some of them I also planted in fall, others I didn't. Um, and then also any of those warm growers, warm season that are super slow growers, and that would be eucalyptus. Um, we will be starting three different types of eucalyptus um, that we have the seeds available, well, that I have the seeds for, and I know that we have some seeds still available here in our app, and I was gonna say, get it while you can, y'all. Um, so the thing, I am zone, I was, I've been 7B slash 8A, but they've now officially made me 8A. Um, anybody, that lives where the ground does not totally freeze in the winter, which there are, I mean, 8A and south can really do that, but even those of us that are in zone seven can start right up until winter starts and then get back on cool season hardy annuals um, because we plant them again eight weeks before our last spring frost, which means I have to start them early January. So. One thing that you have to do, y'all, because we hear this from people over and over, is, oh my gosh, I just got, I haven't gotten my seeds yet and it's time for me to start. You can't start stuff on time if you don't have your supplies and the seeds on hand. I will tell you that I bet you for the first 10 years that I farmed, that was my challenge. I would always just not even think about that. So what other jobs do I do during the winter here on the farm? Um, we try to sift all of our blocking mix products, which is compost and peat moss, so that I just have containers of them. So it's super easy. Um, to just scoop them up by basically based on the measurements um, and make my soil, it's not a big rigmarole, which it is a big rigmarole if you haven't prepared your ingredients. Now's the time to do that. Also, we tarp beds. Um, we tarp beds to hold them. Actually, Bobo and Andrew did that yesterday. Our very early spring planting beds are prepared and they're tarped to prevent weeds from growing and to keep them dry. And also, if I haven't, prepared somewhere that I need to prepare tarping also if you can if you have not prepared your soil 
and it's wet where you are. You can actually tarp for a few weeks and that's your best bet to get that sole to dry out. And friends, tarps aren't in the app, but they are over on our website and they're 20% off when you use the coupon. All right, so yeah. So I wanna, um, before we start doing some sole blocking, um, and so are we gonna sole block Demo first, or are we going through the product? Yes, demo. We'll demo it once. Okay. All right. So first, I want to meet, let y'all meet some of my babies. So here are some Snapdragons that I have started for a demo for videoing. These are um, snaps that are, let's see. These are four weeks old. They are ready to go to the garden. You can see how tall they are. And this is 60 of the blocks on this little tray that's, I'm going to guess, 11 by 5, right? And then I wanted to show, this is Sweet William, and people often ask about it. Sweet William, Dianthus, is a floppy plant. They all do this, y'all. So this is ready to be planted. This is the new, um, there, it's available, the Dynasty Mix, which is the Ruffly Sweet William. So um, this is 60 plants ready to go to the garden. Look how happy and healthy they are. All right, so remember, now is the time to get your supplies. And I wanted to show you, these are just being born basil. Look at, see little ones right here that are just sprouting. It's not the proper time to start basil, y'all. This is for our videoing. Um, so I just wanted to show, it is just a super space savvy way. And I'm also gonna show you how to make the two inch block. These are sweet peas that we have started. And you can see the little vine there. Um, and so this is the tray that would actually hold eight of these little blocks. So soil blocking is super space savvy. And now Suzanne's gonna take us down. You can unplug it if you want, sister. It's fully charged. Um, so we're gonna take you down and take you into my tub here. And I will tell you that um, I, the blocking mix is always on our video, is always on our website, available for you. Recipe. And the recipe is always there. Um, and so you don't um, have to rely on keeping up with it if you don't want to. So Suzanne is working on the camera. And so the blocking mix recipe mixed with water is what you're looking at here in my tray. And it's really a lot wetter. You want to move the table yeah, closer? Yeah. All right. Um, you always want to mix the appropriate amount of water, which is basically three parts of the blocking mix to one part water. And it's a little wetter than what people are used to. And I just want to say, y'all, it's like soggy oatmeal. And that's what you're looking at. So this is the small blocker which is what I use most of the time. And I start, I mean, I if the seed will fit in this small blocker, I use this because it is so much more space savvy. So this is how I make the blocks. I generally push it down twice to make sure the chambers are nice and full. I use a good old potato masher, y'all, to strike off the excess. And then, so we use flat bottom trays with no drainage holes. This means that you can do this anywhere in your home, in a garage that's got heat, um, or anywhere. There's no limit to where you can do it based on how you care for them. Then I'm going to actually pull on the, push the plunger and lift up a little bit. And there you go. It makes 20 blocks. So 60 of these sets will fit in here. And, um... So Kelly has some seeds for me here, I think. So we use the, um, that's good, Kelly. Um, we use the aluminum seed pan because it has no static electricity, y'all. So we use a toothpick as our um, tool to sow the seeds. And if the comments are in your way of seeing can you let go of my hand, please? Mm -hmm. um, you just firmly seat the seed on the surface. Um, so if the comments are in your way of viewing what I'm doing, you can swipe to the side and they'll go away, y'all. So basically, I am when you use an aluminum seed pan, literally the seed jumps. Can you see it on there? It just jumps on your toothpick because it's not fighting any of the static electricity. And I'm doing this through the camera, y'all, so I can't 
quite see what I'm doing. And then you just push it on top. These are coated celosia seeds so you can see them easier. Um, and so that's basically what we follow. How do you know whether or not to put them on the surface or to put them deeper? Your seed packet from us tells you. If your seed packet from somewhere else doesn't say it, you just search engine. How do I sow this seed? And it should give you that piece of information. All right, so let's make some two inch. So I use the small blocker when, um, use the small blocker when the seed will fit in it. But like those sweet peas I just showed you, if it's a bigger seed, think squash, zucchini, sunflowers, that's when I use the two inch blocker. And it actually comes with um, a little white nipple on it, but you can install these inserts on and that makes the perfect hole. And this is a little bit different technique. And, you know, it's so funny. Every time I do this, I'm reminded of just how much more soil is required to make the two-inch block. So let's see if that's enough. So that is why I always, I mean, when I need to use the two-inch blocker, you have to use it. But I resist using it um, unless I absolutely have to. So this is the smaller tray, actually. And these foam trays that we use are reusable year after year. As you can see, this has been used many times before. And so I'm gonna just punch those out. And it makes the perfect two inch block that you can either drop a seed into that hole or friends like with tomatoes and eucalyptus, let's just pretend that this is a eucalyptus plant. How would that be? And to pot it up, to let it grow on because eucalyptus is really a slow grower. Y'all, that is it. You just drop it in the hole and give it a little firm push and that is potting it up. We only do this with some of the slow growers like eucalyptus and then like we like to grow our tomatoes and peppers and eggplant to get bigger before they go to the garden. So um, that's an option and if you live in a more northern climate with a shorter growing season, Bumping up is really a very useful thing to actually do. So soil blocking is super easy, environmentally friendly because you're not using a bunch of plastic trays. The foam trays or your hard plastic trays are reusable over and over and over again for years. All right, so let's see what's up here. So now let's take a look at how this is available in some of the different ways. So what would be, let me just say that my thought process is after all these years of teaching thousands and thousands of people how to start seeds, I believe that everybody has a desire to start seeds. It's just most people think they can't do it. Um, so I think you can really be impactful gifting someone with seed starting equipment um, and how to actually do it. So here is our tote again, and guess what I have in here? I have our seed starting, our soil block maker kit. So this kit includes five of those trays that hold 60 plants here. It has written instructions, which also has the recipe. It has the seed pan and it has the plant markers. Will somebody hold that right there? Thank you. Um, we think if you hold it right here, I think it would be really great. Right, right, yeah, there you go. All right, y'all. We're having, we're having a Vanna White moment here, right? And it comes with the nutrient mix that you add your sifted compost and peat moss, and this is all the nutrient that it needs. Um, and this will make enough soil to make 3,000 of those little blocks. So it goes really a long way. So that's included. Let's see what else is included in here. So it comes with three free packs of seeds, and you get to select... Is it just the wait, wait, wait a minute, it's here it is. All right, so you can choose either cool season hardy annuals, your preference, or warm season. And these are with our best selling seed, y'all. These are not, so you choose which season you want them to start. <laughs> and then it includes the small blocker. And it also includes, y'all, here's the three. Oh, and then there's. We have everything you need in here, friends. This is the toothpick, our little toothpick dispenser. So it comes with the toothpicks. And there's their packs of seeds that you choose. And friends, it also comes with my seed starting made easy. 
Like it's like an 80 minute course, which I just watched again the other day, y'all, and it is blooming awesome. It tells you everything you need to know to seed start. Out in the garden, direct sowing, and starting with soil blocking, and that comes with this kit. Now this kit is a bargain at $78.95, but now it is 20% off. Be sure you use the coupon code, y'all, 20 off, no space. Um, this is the gift of a lifetime, and you have unlimited access to that course. And if you put this in to this tote bag, I mean, you may just be, this may be the best gift a gardener could get at Christmas time. Now, I showed earlier today on social media um, some of my blocks with me taking the burlap off. What is the burlap about? This is the burlap, y'all. It is wide weave burlap. See how it's kind of like got wide, big holes in it? I use wide weave burlap in place of plastic domes. And this is what it's all based on. The person that I learned how to soil block and seed start from was Elliot Coleman, who's quite a famous organic farmer up in New England. And he just talked about how, not that do using domes is wrong. That is not in fact it at all but it is far easier to encourage disease like tamponing off fungal diseases when you use domes because it really traps the moisture and you have to really monitor it really, really closely. But let's have a confession here. I visit my grow room one time a day, first thing in the morning, and then I don't go back in there till the next morning. I do not monitor that closely. Using the wide weed burlap, allows it to trap some moisture and retain moisture, but allows air to circulate. So we don't have that threat. Now this comes in a 36 by 36 inch piece basically, and you can get one piece for $3.95 or a three pack for $9.95. And of course, if you use your coupon code, you get 20% off. Now, if you think you don't need the set, the kit, you can actually buy the set of the soil blockers, which is $84.95 minus 20%, y'all. And that includes the insert. So it comes with that nipple I told you about. See that? Makes an indention to receive a seed. But I frankly put my inserts in and just leave them in, and I plant seeds in that big hole or um, pot up stuff. So that's $84.95. Um, and all of these items are available separately um, in the app, okay? So we're not going to show them here, but you can find them in the app. So we talked about what are you going to do all winter? Well, you got to get your soil ready, y'all. Your blocking mix ingredients. So this is our soil set, and it is $53.80 minus 20%, which is basically $11, I think. And so what does this include? It includes the um, sticky traps to monitor and capture fungus gnats, which are a reality when you're starting seeds. It includes the seed pan. It also includes our toothpick holder and toothpick. And it includes that nutrient mix, which again, this is enough nutrient to make 3,000 blocks. You add your compost and peat moss. After it is sifted, here, this is the best, I, I think this is one of the best things that we sell. This fits perfectly on top of a five gallon bucket, y'all. And you pop it on the bucket and it's got a quarter inch and it gets all those chunks and trash out of what your seed starting mix would be where you don't want a bunch of stuff. So y'all can put all this stuff. So these are all the things that come back in here. And so this would be $11 off. So this is 40 some bucks, y'all. What a deal. All right. Now, reminder everybody, I am giving away a four pack, your choice of either the tough gloves or the touch gloves. Totally love these. Um, so just tap the buy button at the top of the screen and that'll add you and then add yourself to the wait list and we will pull that right at the end of the show. And in case you joined late, I will be doing a little Q&A um, at the end here. Just put at Lisa and the girls will pick those up. And remember, the deal of the day this week is 20% off of everything in the app except books, well, on the app and the website, except for books, courses, and gift certificates and previous purchases, right? So you can use the code 20OFF. You have to use the coupon code, y'all, or it's not going to happen. No spacing. Yeah, no space. 
F-O-F-F. And it is good until midnight Sunday, y'all. And this is all in honor of our Gratitude Open Warehouse tomorrow. We wanted to extend it to everybody, not to just the people that are coming to visit us tomorrow. Um, and if you want to learn more about the warehouse, how will they learn about that? So you can comment on any social media post, Facebook or Instagram, just comment warehouse, and that'll make it automatically DM you all the details, date, direction, your address, the whole nine yards. All right, friends, so we are gonna look at some dried flowers, and we always like to talk about proper seed um, storage, and basically cool, dry, and dark. Dark doesn't really matter, but it does is helpful. And this is the desiccant packs actually help you keep them dry. And so you can get a two pack for $2.95 or a 10 pack for $9.95. And you know, when you buy seeds from us, you're starting the same seeds that I'm starting because literally our seeds are pulled off the same shelves that your orders come off to come here to the farm. And um, so that's just, I did, a lot of people don't really know that. Um, we still have some of our grab bags, the 2023 seeds, which are perfectly fine for the next season or even the season after that if you store them properly. Um, and friends, these are like 70% off when you use the promotion code. So, you know, you save the vet, we have a vegetable and herb six pack, which is $14.85 minus 20. We have sunflower seeds six packs for $17.85 minus 20. Regularly $35.70. And then we have warm season tender annuals. Those are celosias and azuratums and all those warm season seeds. The mystery six packs are $14.95 minus three bucks. Y'all, this is a great time. Regularly $29.70. And we have jumbo warm season um, that are now $38.85 minus another 20%. And that those are jumbo packs of seeds, meaning there's more seeds in them, and it's regularly $77.70. Yep, and so those are like $29, bucks, I think. And then there's also cool season seeds that are in the jumbos, um, which are the same, $38.85 minus 20%. Regularly $77.70. And then, you know, another Another great gift idea um, is, and now we're back to regular price seats because we're to our 2024, is our seed collections. Um, so this is the Cool Season Hardy Annuals, and it comes with a planning diagram with some additional information inside. And um, it is some of these, I'm sorry, what? No, it's fine. Suzanne just get dropped um, So... These are some of my workhorse cool season hardy annuals, and all of these can be direct seeded in the garden. Um, and then we have our cool, our cut flower collection. And so this again, these literally are the same few flowers that I started growing when I started out flower farming, and we still grow them. They're like the, the workhorses of our farm. You know, the giant zinnias, the green ones, the sunflowers, um, the Oklahoma zinnias the mixed basil and the coxcomb mix. Diagram, y'all, additional information. These are normally $22.95 or $24.95, I'm sorry. Which $22.95? $22.95 minus 20%. This is a great way to get somebody started, y'all. Um, and so this is just the perfect three by 10 cutting garden um, that people get really excited about. So now let's just take a look at a few of my flowers that we dried, right? We're gonna do some cool flower first. Y'all, if you're not growing a mobium, I love this stuff. This is like a miniature um, straw flower. It's like a mix between feverfew and the straw flower. Love this fresh, totally love it dry. And then look at these, these are giant poppy pods. I mean, for crafting and wreaths and making stuff, love this. My poppy pods are looking great, by the way. The plants are looking really, really great. Um, so that is them. And then look at this. We love the creamy white straw flowers. Straw flowers are a huge crop for us. We actually plant them in very early spring. They're a big part of what we're starting in January. I start all the colors. Um, this is one of the most underused flowers that's easy to grow. And then y'all look at this, another cool flower. This is ping pong scabiosis. Look at these pods. I don't know about you, have you seen all the decorator stores have tons of this in faux? I mean, there's fake flowers everywhere because this is such a popular pod. Love the giant poppy pods and look at this, y'all. 
I have so many favorites now. This is Safflower Carthamus, and we love it before it blooms fresh, we love it when it blooms fresh, and look how it dries for wreath crafting and wreath work. Totally love that, and you know, I'm a huge Fever View fan. This is just one of many that we grow. This is the single, and it really dries beautifully too. And in that same color family, you know what this is, y'all? This is Limelight Millet. We grow the heck out of this. It's awesome, fresh, and lime green, but look at it dried. It is just really, really beautiful. And then let's talk about some warm season that would kind of be in this mix. These are marigolds that are dried, which, yeah, they look like dead flowers, y'all, but when you're making wreaths, you're looking for pops of color, um, and that's where this would really be useful. And then next up is one of our top selling seeds is Flamingo Feather Celosia. This faded from blush to this. Really, really useful. Love this stuff. And then Suzanne has put them all together and she's gonna, so I saw this, wait a minute, I saw this on Instagram. Somebody was making a wreath out of this mix. Look at them. You're gonna have to step back, sister. She's trying to hold them all together. It's kind of hard to see y'all, but just, I saw some absolutely beautiful wreaths made out of these guys. Thank you. Um, so those were all leftovers that we just didn't need or use and we dried them y'all. They work great. Now those spinning gourds. Y'all have heard me talk about it. I totally love these guys fresh. I use them. This is a bowl that my dad made for us. Um, and these are great for tablescape or sitting anywhere, but look at this. Look at what Susie has. She's our crafter. Look at these gourds that she has painted. Um, she made a reindeer out of some. Friends, this is the time of the year. That, and look, at this one's painted. These are all the little spinning gourds, thank you. The off season, which I consider it off season when we're not doing harvest, right? The off season is when you learn about what to do on the end season and learning about all this stuff that you could have sold at fall and winter markets where people are really focused on buying gifts and decorating, this is it, y'all. You have to like get your peas in a row. Look at this. This is our rooster pepper wreath. How awesome is this? You could sell the heck out of this at farmer's markets. And these are our rooster peppers, which is a warm season seed. They're super hot chili peppers and their growth habit was hybridized for cut flower production, which makes them super easy to strip, and you would really, really love those. So it's time to wrap up now, friends, and I wanna remind you a couple things. One is, you know, over on our big website, thegardenersworkshop.com, we have tons of free resources. Um, we have videos, blogs, our podcasts. Um, we have two podcasts, Field and Garden with me. Then we have Seed and Talk with Lane and Lisa, um, and we do, that's just, you, don't, you can find them on apps anywhere, and you can also listen to them through our website. Reminder that this coming Wednesday, Dave Dowling is taking over Ask a Flower Farmer. Y'all bring your bald perennials and woody questions. Dave will be there to answer them. And remember to meet us back here next Friday um, when we're gearing up for the 2024 seeds um, starting season because I'm already in that mode, y'all, because I've missed out enough. I mean, most people's failure with cool flowers is they plant late for whenever we're talking about fall or very early spring. Remember to pre-order um, your copy of the Cool Flower Handbook and get that free resource. Um, we got our, our Cool Flower Planting Zone Guide that comes when you pre-order, you immediately get that with your confirmation. There's also a gifting card that comes on your confirmation that if you wanna give it as a gift, and you have to purchase that over on our website, y'all. It's a yellow banner at the top of every page. Click it, you can purchase the book. You'll get the free download and you'll get the download for a card so you can gift the book um, for others. And Remember that books are excluded, but you can get 20% off of everything else on our website except books, courses, and gift certificates, right? And previous purchases. And, previous purchases. Um, and that is that 
coupon code is good, I'm tongue-tied y'all, um, until midnight Sunday. So you have all weekend to finish your Christmas shopping. Um, and we have a winner for our gloves. And I hope you're here. I love giving away stuff, y'all. So the winner of a four pack, her choice of either the tough or the touch. Everybody up listening? Our winner is Tasha Shepard. Tasha, are you here? Give us a big old shout out in the comments. Tasha, I hope you are here. Um, and congratulations. You get to, um, you will be, what you'll need to do is to email info at thegardenersworkshop.com and tell them, A, which do you want? The four, yeah, it has to be one or the other, the four pack of the touch or the four pack of the tough and tell us what size you want. Um, and give us your mailing address so we can ship them to you. And congratulations. And stick around because I'm going to take a couple of questions here. All right, so let's see here. Let me pick one. Um, all right, so let's. Oh, great. Congratulations, Tasha. Thank you so much for being here today and participating. We just love it when people win stuff. All right, so I'm going to take a couple questions. My snaps are sulking. That's so funny. I sometimes say that mine are pout, not my snaps, but my plants will pout. After 30 days, they're still tiny seedlings. I think my light, temperature, or moisture are all correct. Any ideas? I'll tell you the number one reason that transplants stall, which means they just kind of just stop. They don't grow is overwatering. And even though you may think you're doing the watering right, if you're you need to really take a look when you you should be watering every morning. Plant roots need as much oxygen as they need water. You water this morning, and as the day goes through and warm temperatures, the blocks dry, the blocks dry, and by tomorrow morning, the blocks are really dry, and you water them again. And they're getting oxygen during that dry time. If they're still borderline moist or moist at all the next morning, the roots just aren't getting any oxygen. Um, and that is a really common problem. And it's a really, and snaps are super sensitive to that. So that would be my go-to checkout. It's been so dry here in Iowa. Any cons to laying plastic mulch on my beds now? I don't have deer pressure walking on my beds. Um, it's been so dry here in Iowa. Any cons to laying plastic mulch on my beds? Do you mean like using biodegradable film as, you know, like mulch on the bed? Um, I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. I think you're asking if you haven't planted yet um, and you, you were asking if you can work your soil, it's dry enough. Um, we don't use plastic, we use biodegradable film. And if it's dry, you can certainly do that and it does help to retain moisture. Um, I have some self-sown sunflower seedlings growing that have survived three frosts and 25 degrees freezes over a couple of weeks without damage. I thought sunflowers were tender annuals. So that's a really great observation. And that is actually what started me doing early bird sunflowers probably about five years ago, is I had reseeding sunflowers um, that were sowing themselves much earlier than I ever planted a sunflower transplant outside. Um, sunflowers are warm season tender annuals, but they are cold tolerant. Um, and that doesn't mean they're cold, cool season hardy annuals, but they will tile. They will ultimately be killed. I mean, ours have been killed at 23 degrees. It really depends on your conditions. Um, but they don't do a lot of growing. You know, they don't do a lot of moving along and blooming. Um, so, yeah, that's a great thing. And that's, if you need, don't know about cool season, don't know about early bird sunflowers, if you can check out my YouTube channel, <clears throat> go back to March. And that's when I talk about that, go back and ever, I did them seed starting Saturdays in March, talk about doing that and just how to make the most out of it. All right, friends, I'm going to wrap it up. Sorry, we can't take any more today. Um, and so I will say this one, how do I sow scabiosis in three quarter inch soil blocks? Do I push the seed point in down or skirt upside down? What a great question. Scabies come, actually you can get the seeds. We call them the little badminton um, the little thing that they look like they have a little dress on. Um, sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. 
we do put the pointy end down and push it down into the block. Um, and so, yes, and that's what, what we use also is the three quarter inch sole block, which is what the, the um, ping pong that we showed you today. All right, friends, so I hope we please spread the word about our gratitude open house tomorrow. Also, our big sale. Um, this is like the perfect time to have a sale, right, where you can just really get those last-minute Christmas gifts. Um, and so you can comment warehouse on social media on any of my posts, and it will DM you the details to the open house. Um, and so I thank you so much for joining me here. And thank you team. This takes a bunch of people to make this happen, y'all. And I thank them all. And Merry Christmas. And we will see you um, Dave on Wednesday. And then I'll see you back here next Friday.